As always, if you want to support the channel, check out my book and the workshops. All links are below. Hit it straight down, don't not at an angle. Give you one bag of Skittles for every two hours you drive. <laughs> All right, we're at the grounds of Tiny House Summer Camp. What's up, Deke? RelaxShacks.com. A place here, 10 acres of much awesomeness. Cabins, tree houses. Right now, some kids related to me playing in the woods. We're all headed down the trail. Those of you who have been to camp before might recognize some of these trails. But to put in a well point, uh, well system, basically. Something I've never done, I've long wanted to do this. I've had the parts for this at my camp for something like 13 years and just never had time to get to it because I'm always building tree houses and other things. So now we are doing it once and for all down by the lower swamp on my property. So we'll have water to wash with, uh, you know, to bathe with, to, I don't know, it's probably drinkable, we'll find out. But I want to try this forever. So I'm gonna show you guys what's up. This is my favorite mossy trail through the property. And yes, we have a giant seesaw in the woods for attendees to enjoy. Chris Strathy, the capable carpenter, check him out online, check out his channel. He put this in a couple of years back. We also have a couple crappers in the property. It's an off-grid camp. They're pretty clean though. Warning, elevated levels of poisonous gas. Uh, you're allowed to graffiti in here too. And we got some pretty Big names in the tiny house scene that have stayed up here, spent weekends up here. Also, before I get carried away and get down there, I want to show you something. Found this in the woods, my dog found it. It was weird because it was like peeking its head out of the hole, but just dead. Not that old, judging by the state of decay. I'm probably grossing something out, sorry. I wanted to come to tiny house summer camp, now I don't. There's dead animals, it's the woods. I think. It might be a bobcat. And I can pull it out. Look, well, you can see here, look at the curvature of the legs, the fur, the ears are all curled up. This was probably a bobcat den. It doesn't, I haven't pulled the whole thing out, but it doesn't look like it was, you know, preyed upon. Maybe it got injured, went back into its little hole and kind of died, but its head was literally sticking out of the hole. So this is a seasonal pond, once upon a time more so a pond, now a stream. It was kind of where that little bridge is, a wash. This goes to another camp in the back, a, uh, a cabin we worked on last year that's awesome. I'll show that in another video sometime, perhaps. But the edge of the swamp rarely gets up to this level. I figured there's water under the ground somewhere here because it retreats halfway through the season underground. There's evidently, if you look at the stream beds, there's some sandy soil here. I was going to put the, for convenience, the well point and the pitcher pump way the heck uphill, but there was a good chance I'd never hit water, even ambient water. I'm not looking for an aquifer. So I took an auger, a uh, one used for ice fishing actually, but works well in the dirt as well. And I dug a hole here to test it, went down four feet. After two feet, water started literally, uh, literally pouring in here. So that's about two feet of water right there. Now I know as the season progresses, this is gonna get drier and drier here and the water's gonna retreat deeper into the ground. So while two feet is great and the water's right here, I know at some point in time that water might be five, maybe even 10 feet further down. So I'm gonna drive, taking these points, I'm gonna drive and attach this well point using a sledgehammer, keeping it nice and plumb. If the well goes dry later on, I can always uh, add another pipe to it and drive it even deeper. I have four pipes in all, I'm just starting with two because we're already at water, which usually isn't the case with other people driving well pumps or uh, a well point, excuse me, well point. All right, so that sucked. I'm a little bit dirty. There's the pile of stuff I excavated by shovel, by hand, by auger. Here's the hole. I mean, clearly we have a ton of water. And that's not the problem. I mean, I'm only, that's not even a foot and a half down. It goes another two and a half, three feet under there. So water is not the problem. It's the chintzy piece of crap pipe I have. And this was stuck well under the water level and I had to like, I was pretty much crawling in that hole and getting my face all muddy to pull this sucker out. Cause at a hundred bucks, I'm not gonna lose that thing. So now I'm thinking, 
little further from my camp, might as well just keep going. There's a sandy stream bed there. I'm just gonna drive into that because I know water is gonna stay there for the longest period or throughout the longest period of the year. So, uh, and being sandy, I'm not gonna be dealing with this muddy mess down here. So that, my friends, is the plan. I'm gonna show you all the mess ups here too because this is not easy, or it should be, but you know, things never turn out as they should. So I wanna show you the ugly side of doing this and you can learn from my mistakes. So here's the new site and it's hard driving, man. This is sandy slash muddy a little bit. This is, I can't really see because the glare on the camera. This is an old stream bed that seasonal used to feed kind of a vernal pool but after the culvert blew out things have changed here it's become almost this like willow grove in the camp uh there is the tree house i was under that before so i'm like 50 feet away this stream goes dry and everything heads underground sometime around mid-may usually we're usually up here there's not even any remnants of water but i know this is the low point and water somewhere is filtrating underground so I'm trying to drive this several feet down to prolong usage of that water or obtain any kind of usage of the water with the sledge. And it was easy going at first, but now it's getting to a point where I'm like every 20 strikes, I'm, you know, the, the pin's going down like a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. It's still moving, but I mean, it's just exhausting work. So here's the other coupling. You can see the piece that broke off the pipe that stuck in it. And that's why I had to dig out the point itself from site number one in the mud so that piece is stuck in there pretty good stinks i could probably get it out somehow but this is like a eight dollar piece thanks crappy pipe so word to the wise only had one driving cap luckily i said to myself 10 more strikes and i'll be done and i did about well not even 10 and the thing split uh so get a couple extra of these if you can it is they're cast iron so they're so strong they're actually brittle and you're striking them over and over with the sledgehammer. This one split. Luckily, it split pretty cleanly so I could get it off the threadings. Threadings were not damaged. And I should be able to put the, uh, the pitcher pump on. Yes, it's going to clean the screen first, all the stuff I dug and drove it. Oh my god, that just soaked me in my new band-aid that I just put on. Oh, okay. Well, don't do that. I'm just going to keep it. I'm probably going to have infection now. I just want to see if I can finally get it clear. Or it's just going to be like swamp blood. Yay. Now, I hear a lot of people have to pump it for a while before it clears. Can I do some pumping? No. I have a break, I'll be fine. I think it's just sediment now. I think under us is probably a lot of mud too. I'm not in We did it. We did it. The water's a little bit muddy. We're going to keep pumping it and see what happens. I mean, ideally, I want to hit a sandy 
not aquifer, but sandy pocket where water's traveling through. But we have water, at least if you pump some of that, let it settle, you can use it for washing or whatever, you know, putting out fires, things like that. But it's nice to actually have a water option here. Uh, and again, with this video, I hope it helped you in some ways, what not to do in a lot of cases and what potentially to try. Leave your comments below. I'm sure you know, uh, might know more about this than I. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please subscribe and we'll see you later. It tastes like a coffee filter to here. All that brown stuff gone. Yeah, probably some kind of filter, yeah. Next time, maybe. Yeah, we could probably figure some water. Let this settle or filter it.